So last week I was changing my table saw blade and I dropped the arbor nut. And right below the saw blade is the dust collector port. And of course the dust collector is on and I heard it. Now luckily it's heavy enough that it doesn't get sucked all the way down the line into the dust collector, but it does still disappear into the dust collector pipe. And I recently replaced all my flex hose here with hard pipe and I taped it. I'm glad I didn't glue it. So I, I basically had to disconnect the entire thing. Now luckily I could just loosen it here and loosen it here and then tip it and I was able to get the net out, but I was afraid that I was going to be disassembling it or you know, if, if the airflow had caught it right, if it would have gone even farther up the line. So, and I don't want that to happen. There's not a lot of room here, you know, you have to fit your hand in there, you're always holding on with your fingertips. Typically what I do is I take, I take one hand and I put the finger over the end of the shaft, and then I reach the other hand in and I use that, and let's see if I can, I use that to spin the, the nut until it's all the way off, and then I will grab the nut take it out. And then when I'm putting it back, I pinch it between my fingers and I get it. And again, then that other hand stays on top of it, reach in and flick it with my thumb. Sorry, it's hard to do that until it's all the way back. Then bring in the wrench to tighten it. So yeah, I am very careful with how I handle the arbor nut and I almost never drop it, but almost is not never. Once a year, maybe only even, maybe even every other year or maybe twice a year, it just, you're distracted or it just slips through your fingers and there it goes. <laughs> and I'm trying to think of a way for that to not happen. And I thought about some rare earth magnets. So now this is a this is a magnet from a from an old computer hard drive, and so that's what I'm going to use because I've got it and it's free. I actually work at a university in in tech support, so I have access to surplus old hard drives. This is actually becoming harder to find because the newer hard drives are getting smaller and smaller, and of course things are going solid state. So eventually you're not going to be able to uh, find these old these old these magnets. Um, really, you want an old big hard drive to get a big magnet. All that to say, you can go to Amazon or Lee Valley Tools or lots of other places and you can buy rare earth magnets. They're not that expensive. They're very powerful. I'm going to rip open these hard drives because I need a couple of more magnets and I'm, I'm hoping that I can put some magnets inside the case and that will catch the nut if I drop it. So that means I'm going to be dropping it on purpose for a while just to, to see. This particular old hard drive is a Fujitsu. It's from 2003, 17 years old. It's from an old uh, Sun Microsystems computer and you need a tiny little Torx, I think it's a T8, to uh, get these screws loose. There we go. There's one magnet and, oh, that's powerful. There we go. That is one powerful magnet in this old hard drive. There's the other one. Do not get your skin in between these because it will jump together like that and you will likely get a blood blister or at least a nasty pinch. Okay, I've got two very powerful magnets, so I'm ready to proceed with my experiments. And again, remember, you can just buy some magnets. You don't have to fight for them like I did. Okay, it's very tight quarters here trying to work in and around my table saw because we have to work inside the table saw. So first let me have the camera out back and then I'll bring you in close to try to walk you through what's going on here. I have a contractor style saw, so my motor hangs out the back. So that's kind of in the way for both my hands and for getting a camera shot in there. I've got a light sitting on top of the saw right now, 
pointing into the middle to try to light up the inside. Uh, I've got my dust collector pipe here along the bottom. There's a dust collector shroud attached to the bottom of the table saw body and inside my saw there's a, I, I put some plywood in to, to sort of line the inside. I've got a, I've got a hole basically dead center in the saw. On the left side, I have some, have some plywood that slopes down to try to direct the sawdust towards the hole. And my saw is a right tilting, right tilt saw. So the arbor is on this side of the saw, the saw blade arbor nut goes on the other side of the saw. If your saw is tilts the other way, then you would have the arbor nut on this side. I'm going to put magnets on this side of the saw, basically underneath the arbor nut. That's what you want to do. You want magnets under the arbor nut. Well, I think that's what you want to do. We're still at the experiment stage here. <laughs> okay, I brought the camera in close and I'm reaching my hand in from the opposite side. And here you can see the saw. There you can see the arbor. I've actually taken the nut off, but if you can imagine, the nut would get to the edge here and then it would drop down. So the nut should hit somewhere along here and not just drop straight in the hole because the hole is dead center and is directly underneath the saw blade. So the arbor nut should hit somewhere along here. So my idea is to put, I'm going to put three magnets here, just a series of magnets along here. If I had more, I could maybe put them on the other side, but and I'm just going to place it right here at the center here. And I'm just going to tape it in place. This is an experiment. If I, if I like the results of the experiment, I will screw it down. Here's, oh, 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 oh careful. I got two hands in there. They're wanting to jump on top of each other. Next magnet. And then a third magnet down here. And yeah, uh, there's normally more sawdust in here. I, I cleaned it out. Later on, as part of our experiments, I should probably dump sawdust on top just to make sure. So now I want to test it, which means I need to drop the arbor nut. But I don't want to drop the arbor nut because I'm afraid of it going down the dust port. So I've got some fishing line here, which I'm going to tie onto my arbor nut. Now, in the interest of full disclosure, I've already tried this once with a shoelace and it worked, but I don't want any, anything to be restraining the arbor nut. I want it to be able to just fall and bounce as if it's not attached to anything because that's how it will normally happen. So I'll, I went looking for some fishing line because that's the best I can do. So the other end, I'm just going to make a loop here. And that's going on the end of the fence. Okay, so here I am. I've got the arbor nut and I'm putting it there and whoops, I dropped it. And it went right down the dust hole. Oh. Failure number one. Might have to come up with another idea. And boom, there we go, on the magnet. Fumble fingers, drop. Straight down. Promising, but I want near 100% capture. I, I, I did seven or eight drops there and two of them, I was able to drop down the middle. Now, I mean, I'm, it's hard to, it's hard to, I think it's hard to perfectly simulate what I'm doing because you you know how do you simulate a fumble but what I'm going to try now is I've got found another magnet and I've put it on this piece of wood and I am going to put this across the dust hole I don't want to obstruct the dust hole but um, this is again if, if if I were to proceed with this I would try to make this as thin as possible and I'm going to orient it vertically so that I'm not obstructing the dust hole yeah and then Let's try it. The magnet's on this face, but I want the stick to be on the back side of center, just sort of here. So unfortunately, it's got its back to the camera, but there's no way to really have the camera on the other side. Okay, back to the experiments. 
Now I'm going to try to drop it straight down. Yeah. Okay, I have the camera propped up and I'm shooting straight into the throat, which is difficult. This is the back magnet. It's never been touched. The middle magnet, it gets grabbed almost all the time. The magnet here on the board it hasn't seemed to have done anything yet, but I can see that it should maybe be more on this side, this front magnet. I'm wondering about getting the magnets down here more. Or still, it's getting some of them, so I'm, I think I want to try a different arrangement. Okay, moving on to my further refinement. I've taken that board and I've trimmed it down. So the idea is, is that I want the magnet to be in the hole of the dust chute, but also as far over as possible. So I've got it right there. Would have to start cutting at this if I want to get it farther over. Let me show you. Okay, I'm continuing my experiments here, and it's again, I've put a camera in the corner of the table saw to try to get a look at it. I've got the three magnets. I, I, I just put in a screw into the wood so they're mounted and I tightened them up and then I added the one that I was talking about. It's on the other side of the board. It's, I'll, I'll take a picture straight down through the throat of the saw and I've got that. Now I took the table saw blade off in order to get this on. Let's put that back in because that's normally there. And here we go. Continuing our testing. I'm not even sure this back magnet is needed. I have yet to drop it on there. There we go. Caught it on the one in the airstream. And it's mostly this magnet in the middle. So I'm gonna throw a bunch of sawdust here. And I'm going to turn the saw on. Now normally, normally this is closed up on the back here, but what can you do? Got to try to videotape. Well, I think that's as far as I'm going to take it today. I was hoping for perfection, but not getting it. I managed to sneak that nut past the magnets a couple of times. Now I'll, I mean, it's better than nothing. Uh, I'll have to check the footage, but I'm, I mean, my guess right now is that it was better than 75% that I was hitting a magnet than when I dropped it, but I was hoping, I was hoping for perfect, but I mean, I mean, I've got three high-powered magnets in there now. I, I guess you could keep adding more magnets around the, the rim of the opening, but what's, what's the point of diminishing returns? But, so I think we're going to have to call this one a, an experiment in progress. Uh, hopefully it's a neat idea. Um, I hope some of you find it interesting. Um, if you've got good ideas for uh, what, what do you do to catch the arbor nut when, the, when you inevitably drop it, um, let me know, drop a comment down below. Um, check back in six months. I'll, I'll uh, ask me and you know, I'll update the comments down below um, with, uh, with how it's been performing in just real world activity as opposed to you know, artificial drops. So as always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you on the next one.